Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to NXT The Game, Season 2, Episode 32. We're just a few weeks away from Super NXT, so let's get straight into the action. For those of you who don't recall, Super NXT is going to be in between uh, the Memorial Classic and, or excuse me, the Freebridge Classic and uh, blah blah blah, take for 100. Alright, we see Enzo Moro running to the back and jumping on Big Cass as Carmelo runs up trying to get him off of him. Enzo lays into Big Cass again, even after skipping takeover Toronto, he's surely not done with Cass. Enzo can be heard screaming audibly, Me and you, big man, you and me at 100, I keep it 100, how about you? Big Cass screaming, Let's go then, why wait? That's my impression of them, by the way. Enzo and Cass are separated again, but by the way things look, their first blood, blatch at, uh, their first blood match at NXT TakeOver 100 is going to be the most violent thing we've ever seen here in NXT. We see a limo now pull up, and it's the NOP NWO Gold. The door swings open, and it's Stephanie McMahon, Triple H's wife. She strolls into the arena. Stephanie is here. Stephanie McMahon is here, and she's been running rumors all week. It's about her husband, Triple H. Corey Graves, for Kevin Owens, who put Triple H out at Legacy, a.k.a. our season one finale. I sure hope that isn't the case, but if it is, watch out. Renee Young, we'll surely find out tonight, Corey. In a match that has some good action, but not in the much way of feet, Ricochet defeats Solomon Crow in 13 minutes by pinfall with a double diving knee drop. Solomon Crow and Ricochet have good chemistry, and it lifted the match, and Ricochet gets his first victory here in NXT. Excuse me, his first one-on-one -on -one victories here in NXT. Tom Phillips now backstage. I'm here with Charlotte. Charlotte, we heard last week that it's Super NXT. In just a few weeks, she'll be taking on Bayley to see who faces Sasha Banks at TakeOver 100. Charlotte. Tom, that's all well and good, but the match is a foregone conclusion. I mean, me and Bailey, come on. I've beaten her once already, and I'll surely beat her again. It's not going to be the natural selection this time. No, no, I'm going to send Sasha Banks a message. Bailey is going to tap out to the figure eight, just like Sasha is going to do at the next uh, at NXT Takeover 100 after I plow through Bailey. This interview, um, this interview, Tom, is over. Don't ask me stupid questions ever again. The scene fades out with Tom Phillips looking at Charlotte as she leaves. A video air is hyping Enzo Amore's match tonight, and he is in action. And about that featured great action in average heat, Bailey defeats Emma in 10 minutes with the Rose Plant. Uh, Bailey and Emma, this is about their sixth or seventh match since I started NXT, and they always put on a good match. They have not fun in a while, and this time, Bailey gets the victory over Emma. Stephanie McMahon now theme hits, and she appears on the entrance ramp as the fans begin to cheer and chant for her. Stephanie McMahon. I wish I could stay longer, she says as the fans cheer and chant for her, but I can't. I just have one thing to say. She looks around. Kevin Owens, she says. At NXT TakeOver 100, it's time to play the game. The fans cheer as Stephanie McMahon drops the mic. Stephanie McMahon hinting that at the end of Season 1 finale, where Kevin Owens took out Triple H, injured him, it looks like he might be ready to come back. And in an extremely short match, Dot Gallows defeats Adam Rose in three minutes with the bicycle kick. Dot Gallows of the Ballet Club going over Adam Rose here of former NXT fame in his final appearance. Big Cass now is seen attacking Enzo Amore backstage and he leaves him down and out. We're getting word from the back that Enzo Amore's match will not be going on tonight. He will no longer have his match that was scheduled as Big Cass, former partner, former tag team champion, former best friend, has just taken out Enzo Amore. And as you saw earlier, the two have had trouble being separated tonight. And a reminder that next week, it'll be Kevin Owens of the NW Gold taking on Hideo Itami. And in two weeks, Bo Dallas tells Mr. NXT that he can do it better when Bo Dallas goes one-on-one -on -one with La Sombra. All right, and in our main event of the week, and a match that had some good action in average heat. Blake and Murphy and the Kingdom defeat American Alpha and Lucha Dragons in almost 18 minutes when Jason Jordan was disqualified while fighting Mike Bennett. During the match, we also saw Maria and Alexa Bliss distract Jason Jordan, leading to the countout disqualification. And Blake and Murphy and the Kingdom get the victory over American Alpha and the Lucha Dragons in tonight's main event. All right, uh, Increase in four different regions. Not too bad. Uh, this was NXT Season 2, Episode 32. We are two shows away from the 90-minute Super NXT show. Thanks for watching, and I cannot wait to present to you what I have planned coming up next.